tell me a bit about yourself. Hey, my name's Sophie and I'm 29 and I'm doing a, so I'm doing a new a challenge, 30 things before I'm 30 that I haven't done before. So I've got until November to do a load more and one of them that I wanted to do is climbing, especially outdoors. So yeah. Um, but a bit of a backstory on me is when I was 13 my spine started curving and it went quite drastically, so it ended up S-shaped. So I had to have the whole of my spine straightened with, and fixed with titanium rods. So I got those. And then when I was 17, I started having trouble walking. So I kept falling over and it got worse and worse and worse because I couldn't walk. And then they figured out that I had hydrocephalus, which is water on the brain. So I, my spinal fluid wasn't flowing around, so it was all gathering in my head, which was blocking the signals going through my spine to my legs. So I had to go and have a shunt put in, which effectively is just like a drain and a plastic tube thing that runs from my brain to my tummy. And that drains fluid all the time. And then I've had 10 lots of brain surgery, four medivacs, and one blue light from Norfolk to Cambridge um, since then, because the shunt broke and all different things went wrong and blocked, and had a hematoma, all sorts of things. But touch wood, it's, all, it's working fine now. So <laughs> we're make, make the most of, making the most of it and doing as much of all different things that I can. Sounds really scary, is it? I mean, I think it's scarier for my family, because you know, when the shunt breaks, so we're, I'm out of it, so I don't really know much about what's going on, but obviously they know. Um, when the shunt blocked in Guernsey, I didn't really know what was going on. I got up and tried to go to work, but my mum said that I, my eyes were like those cartoon characters with their like, eyes are out on stalk. Because that's one thing your body can, if there's too much pressure in your head, your body can move your eyes out, or like push your eyes out. So that was quite freaky, but I had no idea. So I was like, I'm going to work. She's like, no, 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 no. you're not going anywhere. Another time it broke, I was in Norfolk visiting my friend, and I don't remember, we went to Great Yarmouth. Apparently I kept sitting down and like flopping around all over the place, and I'm like, something's not right. And they took me to a, a, a small hospital, and they were like, she's drunk. And they were like, no, 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 she's got a shunt, she can't drink. And then they were, needed a scan, and we're like, oh dear. So then they had to get blue lighted to Cambridge. But my poor mum and dad knew nothing about this until it was midnight, and my mum gets a phone call from a surgeon, and he's like, can't talk, but I've got your daughter. I'm taking her into surgery now, um, but she can't consent because she's unconscious. Has she got mad cow disease? And my mum was like, heck, like just get woken up by that, yeah. um, and so she had to get the boat over the next day. How have those experiences shaped you? The experience has made me super determined. I think, and they also give you that realization that life is fragile. So like, go and live it and make them every day count. Were you like that before it happened? I think I was like that before, but it's made me a lot more like that and more appreciative of the fact that now I can walk. Why climbing as one of your challenges? See, climbing is one of those things I think a lot of people think you can't do, especially if you've got some kind of disability or medical condition, you think climbing is kind of out. Plus, we live on Guernsey and there's like so many cool places to climb and I love being outdoors. Mm -hmm. So it's quite special to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. And what's it been like? Has it met your expectations? It's exceeded my expectations. Um, I'm pleased because I I didn't think I'd be able to do it. Okay. And I didn't think I'd get up high and like not have a problem. I thought I like, might have a problem with it. But I've kind of just done it and it's like, oh, it, it's actually really fun. I think I might be addicted now. <laughs> so what's next? Oh, I don't know. More climbs. More climbs. <laughs> bigger climbs. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say harder climbs, I might regret saying that. <laughs> bigger um, climbs. Yeah, bigger, climbs. Yeah, bigger, yeah, bigger, better climbs, yeah. But no, the ones on her, it's been so fun today, because like, pioneering climbs, no one's done before. Yeah. And it's so pretty, and the sun came out, so. Yeah. And have you always been quite positive, or have there been times when you've been really down? I think your mindset is, like vitally important because without if your mindset's not in the right place I think you can hold yourself back um, but putting yourself out there in a, can help you get into a good mindset and like mm -hmm. doing things that sense of achievement can really change your mindset on things mm -hmm.
Is there anything that you believe you can't do? Well, my surgeon says there's two things I can never, he said, just don't ever, ever try them. Jumping out of a plane and bungee jumping. Huh. Those are the two things that I categorically have been told are out. They haven't told me anything else is totally out. I can't run, so anything that involves running I can't do. Um, unless I have my racing wheelchair to do it in. Yeah. But apart from that, no. Or anything that goes upside down, or involves like looking up for a long period of time. Other than that, I do most things. Just in a, might just have to do it in a slightly different way. Is there anything else that you want us to ask or want to say? Yeah, I want to talk about you guys. And what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Because <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have done this without you. Good. <laughs> so, okay. so for me, I've got I've been into climbing for quite a, well a long, long time, and it's sort of shaped at the part it helped me belong somewhere. I, I think as a teenager, which is really important, and to do really cool things and go to really cool places. Um, and then it's helped shape. I don't know, helped shape a lot of my, a lot of the things I've done with my life, where I've, where I've visited and gone on holiday, or the people I've met, or the friends I've made, and I've, you know, I've met Nikki through climbing as well. Yay! So, <laughs> um, so I've had a, a lot of really, really good things out of climbing, and I think I just felt that. I wanted to share some of those good things with, with other people, really, which is where where the charity came from. So yeah, so it's really cool. So it's cool to come here and do a new climb and all of that, but then to to bring someone along who's who's never done that before, and give them a chance, like it just makes it and like an even better day out. It's uh, special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't hand it to me. No. Oh, that's way too close. <laughs>